Hi and welcome to the Blue Eye launch event here in Trondheim, Norway. Today we are presenting the most significant product launch since the Blue Eye Pioneer. I am Christian and I have the pleasure of being the CEO of Blue Eye Robotics. During this event, the Blue Eye team will take you through all the details and what possibilities the new model will open up for. Our sales and engineering teams are already available to answer any questions you may have. Please use the Q&A function in Zoom to submit your questions. And at the end of the event, we will present the offer we have made in connection with the launch. Since the beginning, we have had several successful product launches. And we have made the transition from D to C to B to B. And the launch of the new model marks the end of a journey in that sense. But it's also the beginning of a new chapter of endless possibilities. To tell you more about our growth and the current status in the market, I invite Uda, the marketing director of Luai, to join me. Hi, Christian. Hello, Uda. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And hi, everyone. Uh, when I started back in 2018, we were only weeks away from shipping our first product, the Blue Eye Pioneer, out to customers. Since then, as Christian also mentioned, a lot has developed within the company. Today, Blue Eye can count customers in over 40 different countries, and we see them using our ROVs for all kinds of different purposes. Our customers, they range from large global companies such as Equinor and Maersk to different smaller inspection companies with less experience with ROVs. And later during this event, you'll hear from an excited Blue Eye customers and their uh, plans with our new model. In addition to growing the number of customers, we have also developed a network of partners that are important for our future growth. We started the Blue Eye Partner Program about a year ago, and now you can find Blue Eye Partners in 17 different countries ready to serve our customers in their local markets. Through close talks with professionals within shipping, aquaculture, marine robotics, and different marine services, and also through our support channels, we have now developed a next generation ROV, ready to serve our customers with a larger range of possibilities going beyond solely being an eye below the surface. Now, we acknowledge that we are certainly not the first company launching this type of product, but in Blue Eye, we take our time to develop long lasting products. Seamless integrations, regular software updates, and a strong commitment to user friendliness so you can trust our products to work for your operation every time. Okay, following next in the program, the Blue Eye launch video and a technical presentation by our CTO, you must follow us up. Introducing the next generation Blue Eye ROV. The Blue Eye X3, our new model with endless possibilities. The X3 is equipped with three new guest ports, supporting eight different communication protocols, making it possible to expand the ROV's capabilities with a wide range of external equipment, such as grippers and manipulators. The two-axis gripper is fully integrated into the Blue Eye app and makes it easy to retrieve objects, operate tools, deploy equipment, or collect samples. A DVL mounted on the Blue Eye X3 will enable new and advanced control modes, such as dynamic positioning and distance management. Equip the X3 with a side scan, multi-beam, or 360-degree scanning sonar to significantly extend your range of sight. The new aluminum mounting bracket serves as a strong attachment point and a platform for external equipment. Add new angles to your inspection with the Blue Eye external camera and light. The camera and light can be mounted independently and in any direction to suit your needs. 
The ROV operator can view live footage, record video, and capture pictures from both cameras. Get a better overview in the dark by combining a pair of Blue Eye external lights with the primary light for a total of 10,000 lumen intensity. Lights, sonars, camera, manipulators, positioning systems, and sensors. The Blue Eye X3. Endless possibilities. Learn more at blueeyerobotics.com. What a fantastic product video. And welcome to the Blue Eye Studio. From here, we have hosted more than 20 webinars for our customers over the last 12 months. My name is Jonas Follese, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Blue Eye. And next, I will take you through some of the technical details of the Blue Eye X3. As the CTO of Blue Eye, I have the privilege of leading our tech team consisting of 10 highly talented engineers, many of whom have been with the company since the very beginning. If you happen to have any questions along the way, please write them in the chat and someone from the team will be happy to answer. The first Blue Eye prototype, the PX, went into the water in November 2015 and we launched our first product, the Blue Eye Pioneer, in the market in December 2018. At the beginning of 2020, the Blue Eye Pro improved on the Pioneer with an increased depth rating, an improved camera and mechanical tilt. Over the last few years, we have also released several software updates to the Blue Eye app and the Linux operating system, adding new functionality such as report generation, video overlays with custom logos, image stabilization, the ability to share footage in Microsoft Teams, and many other improvements. These updates are free for all Pioneer and Pro customers, an example of how the value of a, your Blue Eye purchase will increase over time. Now we are ready to launch our third model, the Blue Eye X3. In one way, does the X3 mark the end of a chapter for Blue Eye? We have now delivered on our original vision for the product and created what we believe is the most user-friendly, robust, versatile, and expandable mini ROV in the market. However, the X3 is also the beginning of a new chapter. Three guest ports combined with our user-upgradable Linux operating system open up endless possibilities for integrating external peripherals such as sonars, manipulators, sensors, cameras, or lights. The three guest ports offer multiple different power levels and a total of eight communication protocols. Through the use of USB, we can also add new protocols in the future. These connectivity options make the X3 prepared for all kinds of underwater equipment used in the industry today or in the future. One peripheral we have developed for the X3 to take advantage of the new guest port is the Blue Eye external camera. It is using the same high quality camera found in the Blue Eye Pro drone packaged into a tiny waterproof enclosure. The camera can be mounted in numerous ways depending on your use case and you will be able to simultaneously view both the primary camera and the external camera. You can point it straight upwards to inspect the hull of a flat bottom boat or you can mount it pointing backwards to get better spatial awareness when accessing tight spaces. Our software team has developed tight integration of the Blue Eye external camera with the Linux operating system, the Blue Eye app, and the Observer app. The drone operator can easily switch between the primary camera and the external camera using touch or the physical controller. Using the Blue Eye Observer app, you can view both streams at the same time in portrait mode or as picture in picture in landscape mode. The drone will record uh, video and capture still pictures from both cameras at the same time. To complement the new camera, we have created the Blue Eye external light. If you choose to mount the camera in a different direction, the lights will ensure you get the light you need for the external camera. Lights are controlled directly from the app, setting the intensity of both the primary light and the external light. The lights can also be used independently of the external camera to get extra lights when operating in the dark allowing you to get a better overview from a greater distance. The external lights adds a total of 3000 lumens intensity, giving you 6300 lumens together with the primary light or close to 10,000 lumens if used in a pair. The X3 does not only allow for the connection of Blue Eye peripheral, it opens up the drone as a platform for a range of third-party equipment. 
A frequent request, particularly from our customers in aquaculture, is for a gripper to allow them to recover lost items from the fish pen. With the X3, we now offer two alternatives, the Newton gripper from Blue Robotics or the more advanced two-axis Reach Alpha gripper from Blueprint Labs. Both grippers are fully integrated with the Blue Eye app, giving you complete control using the trigger buttons on the controller to open and close the grip. Sometimes you need to see beyond what the camera can capture on its own. Murky waters and poor visibility can sometimes limit your range of sight to only a meter or two. A sonar will allow you to see much further, greatly helping you navigate and find your way on the water. The X3 can be equipped with different types of sonar, such as a side scan, a multi-beam or a 360 degree scanning sonar. On the left, you can see a scan of the short Sunderland rack found in the Trondheim's fjord captured using a side scan sonar mounted to an X3. To the right, you can see the outline of a small wreck captured from more than 30 meters distance using a multi-beam sonar. The ISS 360 sonar from Impact Subsea is the world's most compact imaging sonar. It offers excellent image clarity, 360 degrees field of view and up to 90 meters range and it integrates nicely with the Blue Eye X3. So using the ISS 360 sonar you can easily find your way around murky waters. Another tool which will help you with underwater navigation and tracking is the position system. Traditional GPS does not work on the water as the signals cannot penetrate the surface. To get the position of the drone underwater you need to add an acoustic positioning system. Blue Eye will add support for positioning systems to the Blinux operating system later this year. The positional data will be added to pictures and video as metadata, stored as part of the dive log and made available through the app in various formats similar to how we can generate reports today. You will also be able to see the drone location on the map directly in the Blue Eye app. We are working closely with Waterlinked, another Trondheim based underwater technology company, to add support for their underwater GPS G2 positioning system and their A50 Doppler velocity log. For the X3, the A50 DVL will give the drone information about speed, look, uh, direction and altitude over the seabed, enhancing the accuracy of the positioning system. It will also enable new control modes such as position hold, distance hold, altitude hold or automatic navigation to predefined waypoints. The U1 locator used for the Waterlink positioning system is battery powered, making it compatible with all existing Blue Eye Pioneers and Pro drones. The X3 will be delivered with our second generation surface unit. We have greatly improved the robustness of the surface unit by switching to a waterproof USB-C connector protected by an improved water cover. We have also moved the antennas inside the enclosure to remove the risk of damaging or breaking these. We have upgraded the communication module on both the X3 and surface unit side, ensuring a more robust connection over longer tethers. The second generation surface unit is compatible with existing Blue Eye Pioneer and Pro drones. As our customers experience the benefits of conducting more frequent underwater inspections, they feel the need to operate longer on one charge. Our fully certified Blue Eye Smart battery is 96 watt hours and within the requirements for air travel and a massive benefit for our customers who frequently travel with their drones. But to meet the needs of customers who wish to operate longer, we are developing a high capacity battery pack that will more than double the operational time of the drone to 5 hours. The battery will be available towards the end of Q4 and is compatible with existing Blue Eye Pioneer and Pro drones. Our decision to operate the drones from standard iOS and Android devices is rooted in a strategy and vision where the Blue Eye app is part of a broader mobile ecosystem. Sharing live footage from the Blue Eye drone in Microsoft Teams is one such example. Another benefit is that you can take advantage of the latest innovations in mobile device hardware with faster processors, better and brighter screens, or you can use the latest game controllers on the market. For the X3, the new default controller option will be the latest Xbox controller. This high quality controller will be compatible with both iOS and Android devices. The X3 launch marks the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one for Blue Eye. With the X3, we deliver on our vision for the most user friendly, robust, versatile and expandable mini RV on the market. Our focus going forward will be to expand on the capabilities of the X3 with support for more peripherals, not only by simply attaching them to the drone, but by ensuring maximum value and the best possible user experience through deep software integration with both the Bluenux operating system and the Blue Eye app. 
To show you the Blue Eye X3 in real life and to demonstrate some of the new improvements, I would like to pass the word to our lead mechanical engineer, Rune Hansen, and our lead electronics engineer, Borja Serra. Thank you, Jonas, for the introduction. This is Borja, a lead electronics engineer at Blue Eye. And my name is Rune, and I'm the lead mechanical engineer. So here we have three X, X3 setups that we have uh, with different payloads. So here we have uh, for positioning purposes and navigation. Here for the gripper, uh, it's just a grab uh, something that falls into the water or some ac uh, action on the water. And then we have uh, one that is used uh, mainly for inspection on the water. Yeah, so what we have done here is to keep the really good design of the Pioneer and the and the Pioneer Pro, and we have enhanced it with some guest ports. And this, this makes us very flexible in how the drones are set up. This drone, as Boria mentioned, is um, uh, set up as an inspection drone with a flexible camera and lights rig. So in this case, you can actually uh, adjust the lights and the camera in whatever position you want, to, depending on your user case. You can turn the camera or you can even look up the same with the lights, you can adjust them according to your needs. Um, and the lights are totally dimmable. And um, together with the, the camera and, uh, and lights, we have the uh, Blue Eye Observer app, which shows you both um, of the camera windows at the same time. And in the middle one, we have <coughs> chosen to to integrate uh, the Reach Alpha gripper, which is a two-axis gripper for for um, for uh, better uh, operation. So it can uh, rotate and it can uh, it can grip. Yeah. Uh, it's also possible to add other peripherals on this drone if you want to. You only use one one of the guest ports for the for the gripper. And also, as uh, Rune is mentioning, I think all the peripherals it also can be added uh, in this uh, in this platform that we have. Uh, so uh, you can add, uh, yeah, other like you can also have a gripper and lights and camera, for example, in the same drone. So it's not like limited to a specific drone. Let's put it that way. So the last one we have a positioning navigation drone. In this case, we have. A, uh, LVL from Waterlink, uh, GPS on the water uh, beacon. And then on the bottom, we also have uh, DVL also from Waterlink that uh, we have integrated with the drone. There's other options with from other companies as well, like USBL from uh, Blueprint Lab that we also use and that we also uh, can integrate among others. So as we say, endless possibilities. And now, it's time to give it to Tromso to keep going with uh, their amazing work uh, with, the, with our drones, actually. We are at Sudsbissen on the southern tip of Tromso Island. So this is a, this is a Blue Eye Pro. ROV. We are here today to extend the transex that these students from UIT are looking at. So they're looking at ecology on the beach and it would be really good to kind of, you know, studying the intertidal zone on the beach. They're really easy to use, kind of straight out of the box. They're all nicely contained, the batteries inside, so you don't need a power supply. I'm a marine robotics engineer uh, with the Department for Arctic and Marine Biology at the University of Tromsø. <laughs> Turn the light on. All good? Excellent. Well, it's great for the students because it's so simple to be able to have um, instant camera footage pretty much you can get it all connected up they can connect their phones to the wi-fi they can all see the image underwater on their own screens i think you should drive because you can see the you can see the picture so it's just a very handy thing to bring to local field work for the students to get a quick 
underwater view. I think the most exciting dive I've had with the drone was a couple of weeks ago. We were doing field work at Enganess, and so we had it down at 300 metres and we saw deep sea coral down there, very, very close to shore. Um, so it was really, really interesting to, to have such a clear image so deep and so easily. X3 is the new generation, next generation of Blue Eye Drone. The exciting thing about the X3 is that it's going to have guest ports on it, which means you can have sensors, you could have different cameras, uh, you could have a manipulator arm. So for example today, if the students see something that maybe they can't identify or through the pictures, they want to take something out, they can use the manipulator and they can bring a sample back. Uh, UIT have already ordered 10 of the X3s. So first we have one Pioneer, which I think was their first uh, model and then we bought 10 of the pros and these are proving so useful that we've decided it's going to be worth having 10 more and that we will upgrade to the X3 for the extra capabilities that they have. And you can see your depth here so if you want to use your right hand thumb and push that down you can probably go a little deeper. I think it's really really helpful to open up what they can see. This makes it really really easy for students to be able to come and collect some real data to look at some real live animals in the sea and uh, study where they're living. Hey folks thanks for joining us we're really glad you uh, decided to spend a little bit of time with the Blue Eye team my name's James Nixon. I'm the Senior Sales Specialist here at Blue Eye, and I'm coming to you from our corporate headquarters in Trondheim, Norway. Uh, we've got Trond Larsen out on the dock, ready to do an in-water demo. Uh, but before we do that, I wanted to give you the results of the poll. So I'm here in the uh, Blue Eye headquarters. Um, in one of our meeting rooms, much like a meeting room that you probably have in your office. So what I have is a Teams meeting set up and I have our in-water expert, Tron Larson, down on the dock. Uh, the parallel to this is, uh, how about a ship inspection? Uh, you've got your operator on the dock doing the inspection. You've got your regulator or, uh, or stakeholders um, sitting comfortably in the office and everyone gets to uh, give their input, right? This is a live stream. If you uh, wanna inspect a certain anode, Tell the operator, he can go look at it. Um, so basically what we're doing is just giving you an idea of the way our drone live streams over Teams. Uh, Trond, take it away. Thank you, Jay, how are you? Quite well, how about you? I'm good. I'm uh, here at the harbor of Trondheim. I've lost a cargo strap down in the ocean. So I will use one of the new X3 drones with a gripper to pick up the cargo strap. Uh, to show you what I'm doing, I'm just uh, sharing my screen in Microsoft Teams. Uh, share screen. And you can now see me diving here. I also need a controller, so I will connect to the controller using Bluetooth. And I can start diving. What you now see is the, the images directly from the drone. So what I do is I lower this drone using the tether carefully into the ocean. I will then search for the cargo strap and pick it up live on stream with you guys here. And for all of you who are watching, please know that Trond is wearing a life jacket. Yeah. So. The first thing I do when I get down in the water is I turn on auto depth and auto heading. That way the sensors on the drone keep the drone at the depth and the direction I want it to go. So I'm just driving down, you can see the bulkheads of the, of the pier. I can turn around. You also see I can tilt the camera down and there you can see the gripper that I'm going to use to pick up this cargo strap with if I can find it.
you can see we have about eight or nine meters depth here it's quite an easy pickup if I can find the cargo strap I can actually see it Trond you can? I can so I'll put on video this way I can document what I have done I found the cargo strap I found where it was if this was an object that could cause damage to your operation you can document where it was if it did any damage of course now that's not a big problem from anyone who's ever driven an rov using a gripper they will know that this can be hard because the field the camera has a different angle than the gripper but because this rov as in slow motion as i have it now is so easy to control i can just head in clap the cargo strap and i can start heading back i turn off slow motion and i can drive up from the seafloor what i do now is i tilt the camera up to look around i can see how the bulk is here even turn on the light if i wanted if it was dark and i start heading to the surface and the job is pretty much done when I get that one up. So folks, think about this for your own use case. Think about this in, in your field. Um, it could be a dropped knife in a fish pen. It could be um, a broken anode that falls off your ship hull. Uh, it could be a rope that um, is floating around behind your prop. Um, sort of any number of tasks can be performed with this gripper. Um, I just always like to make sure that you all put this in, in terms that are going to make sense for you. Since we have so many uh, varied clients from all around the world using these drones um, for so many different purposes, you really just kind of have to think about what's going to be the best use case for you. Yeah, you can now see I have the, the RV just under me. It's on the surface. I'm just pulling in the tether so I won't get tangled in that and I'll raise the ROV from the surface using the tether. And I'm gonna jump in here again and, uh, and sort of let you all, um, let you all think about this. Um, the entire time that Tron was uh, doing this job, navigating through the ocean, fine tuning with this gripper, he was talking to us and operating this drone at the same time. Um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I turn the radio off in my car when I have to parallel park because it's just too much sensory input. The intuitive nature of our ROV makes it such that you can talk and work at the same time. Yeah, and here you can see I can just release the cargo strap and the job is done. So that'll be all from me here on the cargo, Jay. Thanks very much, Tron. We certainly appreciate that. Um, and, and the thing that we want to always take away from this is, is the live stream capability, right? Um, I was able to give my input to Tron, to have a conversation with him, um, even direct him towards the object that we needed to have um, observed, um, the object that we needed to have retrieved even. Um, and furthermore, while Tron is here, he can generate an after dive report giving all the information directly to the stakeholders that need to make a decision. Because as we know, it's one thing to get information, it's another to be able to share that information, and yet a third to be able to make real-time decisions based upon it. So as you move forward in your daily work, I encourage you to think about how the X3 can help you. So now, after all of this, we're gonna send it back to our CEO, Christian. Thanks very much for your time. So now you have seen what the new model is all about, and I hope you are as excited as I am. With three guest ports enabling endless possibilities, I'm very excited to learn what tasks our customers will put the X3 up for. Even though the X3 is packed with new tech, we are keeping the price at a reasonable level. The X3 starting price will be $13,000. At the same time, we are also lowering the price on our earlier models. And you can find more information on our website. The Blue Eye launch offer is worth $5,000 and includes a Blue Eye external camera, a Blue Eye external light, and two Blue Eye smart batteries. The offer is valid till end of June. 
Delivery of the X3 will start in the third quarter, but you can already now reach out to our sales team and book an online demonstration. Before I say goodbye, I would like to kindly ask all of you to take our short survey sent to your email to help us improve so we can continue to develop according to your needs. Our team will also hang around in the chat to answer any questions you might have. Thank you so much for joining.